Hi folks, this is Jay. I just want to share with you about the death of freedom, of the freedom of the will concerning atheism. If, you be, if you're an atheist uh, and you take the atheist position, then you're connected to evolution. And if you're connected to evolution, that means we're just a product of chance and matter. Now, if all we are as human beings is made by matter, we need to know this, is that matter is always affected by matter. You know, everything that is matter has a cause and effect so a piece of matter will be affected by some other matter matter doesn't have any particular choice it's just affected by other aspects of matter so for example uh, I have a pen here I push the pen move the pen the pen is affected by me touching it moving it etc okay and then my my fingers are moving because of my uh, electrical brains and it continues on and on there's always something affecting something else uh, in the material cause so if we as human beings are just matter then we are affected by matter what that means is we don't have free will now atheists can dress it up with, with a Daniel Dennett or with a Sam Harris with their different models but it all comes down to this we have no free will okay so if you want to be an atheist and you want to follow atheism, then you need to realize you don't have free will. If you don't have free will, then that is a direct contradiction to your own humanity and how you feel as a human being, because you know deep down you have free will. Otherwise, uh, you, you wouldn't be writing a poem or you wouldn't write a short story or you wouldn't love your wife or you wouldn't love your children or you wouldn't love your grandma, because these are acts of free human beings making free choices so atheism destroys free will atheism is the death of free will okay thank you for listening and god bless you